So, I'm really making this video just to say thank you for your support and for your prayers. Um, if, you do, if you didn't know, I just got back from the Dominican Republic and I got to spend 10 days with a group of high schoolers and um, six of us as adults, which is weird because they called me an adult, which I don't really know what that means, but I guess I have a beard and so I'm qualified to lead. Um, but so we took a group down and we spent nine days there, like I said, or I said that, I'm going to repeat myself. Um, but we just got a cool opportunity to see what God's doing in the Dominican Republic, um, see the life change that's happened from um, a guy who was a drug dealer at one point. He was, you know, the biggest drug dealer in the neighborhood of about 2,000 people that we were able to serve and be a part of. And now, ever since God's changed his life through that, um, just the huge impact that he had dealing drugs has now turned into a big impact just sharing the gospel and changing the entire, I mean really it's a, a small city of 2,000 and so streets are cleaner, lives are being changed. Um, and that's just one of the stories and one of the ways that God's been working. Um, and so we were able to be a part of that and we did um, construction stuff. We really, I guess it wasn't construction that I was hoping for like knocking down walls and building houses or um, that kind of thing, but we actually ended up splitting into four groups and we, we painted. And so the entire time we were painting, whether it be a house or school or um, a little, basically like a watch house that they had at the place we were staying, um, whatever we were painting, I guess we just had to be reminded uh, constantly that, you know, us guys especially might want to be doing construction, but we were doing something that they needed to be done. It was a, a um, a need, a necessity for them, I guess, to have uh, those things painted. And so we knocked it out. My group specifically, we painted four classrooms that they have at the school um, that the organization called Tears, which, by the way, oops, my light went out. Um, trying to get the best light. Uh, by the way, you can go and like the organization known as Tears. Uh, just go to my Facebook page and um, go to where I have likes, and you can like Tears as well and find out all kinds of information, see all kinds of pictures from our trip. Um, that This guy named Faye, who was actually um, the guy who God just totally transformed his life, and it's, he's got a really cool story, but he's actually the photographer now for Tears, and so you can see all those pictures. You can also um, just go to my Facebook and look at all the pictures there, and yeah, that kind of thing. So you can see pictures, you can probably see, see videos eventually being posted up about our, our stay because we're able to go up into the mountains um, and experience some of that. We're able to go to the beach while we were there and also just be doing VBSs um, for a few of the days we were there, be painting and you can see all the things we painted. Um, like I mentioned, the four classrooms as well as the long, long hallway that we painted at the school, just the things that they needed done, we were able to do them, and I think the Lord enabled us to finish all of the things that we wanted to finish and wanted to accomplish and had been asked to do as far as painting and doing the VBS and those kind of things, and so I just want to say thanks uh, for your prayers, thanks for your support. Uh, we do have a group that's leaving tonight, which uh, it's, what, Thursday the 12th? It's Thursday the 12th, and so a group is leaving tomorrow, basically, but it's 1 a.m. tonight, um, and they're going to be going down there for another nine days, and then they'll come back, and that'll be it um, for this year as far as our summer missions go. So be praying for them. Um, I know God's got some really cool things. Uh, some other things we were able to experience while we were there is I got to see um, our high school actually raise money for book lights for the Dominican leaders down there and so they're about to start leading and branching out and leading small groups they're calling them cell groups and they're going to do life with with those people on a regular basis and they'll probably see those people every day um, similar to maybe what you experience in your own small group but just with your own good friends and we were able to give those people lights for two reasons one was just to serve as uh, a, a gift and a useful tool for them for reading because electricity goes out all the time there. And the second was just to serve as an example, a symbol really, that God is shining light in the darkest places spiritually and 
uh, now I guess with that tool physically in a sense too. But so continue praying for them. The trip was awesome. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask me about them. If you want to see pictures, like I said, they're all over Facebook, so you probably don't need to specifically ask me for them. Um, I already know most of you have seen them and started liking them. Uh, if you do just want to sit down and talk, like I'm more than willing. Um, I mean, I'm going to start back working on Monday, but I have plenty of time to go grab lunch with you or coffee and we can talk about the whole experience, maybe even how you can be involved in the future um, as we will look forward and consider how we can be involved even just by staying in the States. So again, thanks for your support, your love, your prayers. They were all felt. Um, financial support was met as hopefully you saw. And yeah, it was an overall great trip.